Welcome to the Wedding Filmmaker Spotlight series where I take a look at the best wedding filmmakers in the business to try to figure out what it is they're doing that make their films so good. Today we're talking about uh, the wonderful cinema of poetry and we're going to be looking at this one particular film I'm going to show you right now. It's a elopement in Marrakesh and let's get into it. We met at a party with friends. I thought he was a nice guy and nice friend but I wasn't at the best time of my life, so we never spoke again after that. A year after, we began to speak again. A friendship began, a nice one. Then a relationship started between us and started to build a bigger one. It was an amazing time, to be honest. It was a lot of nights with no sleeping, talking to each other, and uh, a lot of driving around because she was living in Lisbon and I was living in the south of Portugal. It was, it was very good. It was a good time. All right, so that's the part I wanted to show you. And like what I wanted to just say about this is that interviews, they make everything so much better because, you know, it's just when, when you have the couple, I mean, obviously you need to have the couple, they're reading their vows, but usually they're reading off of a piece of paper or they're reading off of a little book or they have their phone and they're, they're, they haven't got it memorized. And even if they do have it memorized, it still feels very um, like robotic and it doesn't feel like it's genuine almost sometimes, right? Sometimes it just feels a little bit um, forced or something. So when you use uh, interviews in your wedding films, it seems like you can just get like this really, really uh, natural and uh, authentic kind of language that comes from from just speaking off the cuff. And I think that's really, really neat. And I think it adds a lot of um, authenticness, is that a word, to uh, the film. So I think that's something that's really, really uh, great. And I think it's something that a lot of more wedding filmmakers should be utilizing. It's super simple uh, in theory, but obviously harder in practice to incorporate interviews into your films um, because yeah, I mean, anyone can just set up the interview, but I think there is a bit of an art form to uh, leading questions and, and kind of like thinking through beforehand, like, okay, what kind of questions do I need uh, to ask to get the answers that I need for my film? A couple other things I really like about using interviews are that they're going to be generally better looking than the vows as well, because, you know, with the ceremony, you have... Um, that's going to be set up and it's, it's usually going to look pretty good, but usually there's going to be just kind of one angle that looks better than another angle, right? Like the bride might look better than the groom or the groom might look better than the bride, depending on which side they're standing, where the sun is or um, where the house lights are, that kind of thing. But when you shoot an interview, you can really like hone the lighting and get it just how you want. You know, you can really craft it and make it exactly how you want it to look. Not only will the lighting be better, but the audio will generally be better too because you'll, you'll be able to monitor it um, a lot more closely and you'll be able to like finely tune the environment so that the audio is as good as it can be. And apart from all of those technical things, it also just lets you get to know the couple a little bit before you just slam into the vows. Like sometimes you wanna get to know this couple before you start hearing about how much they love each other. You know, you wanna get a little bit of their behind the scenes story, a little bit of their how they met kind of thing. And that's a really good place to put the interviews. I really think having interviews at the start of your film really like slowly builds that anticipation for the vows and for all of the, the dancing and all of that other stuff that comes later, which is a lot more emotional. This stuff can, when it's just uh, friendly like this and it's about how they met, that kind of thing, I really think it sets the mood uh, for a film and I think it's, it's a really lovely way to go about things. So that's the end of this episode. Go and check out Cinema of Poetry. The filmmaker's name is Kostas Petsis and he makes amazing work. He's out of Greece. Uh, go over, give him some love, send, tell him that I sent, uh, sent you over. And if you want to see more films like this in the future, all about uh, wedding filmmakers and how they make their films so good and how we can all elevate our game, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right.